Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. It's Sunday, it's Father's Day, so first of all I'd like to wish all of you a very happy Father's Day. If it's a difficult day for you I hope you're doing some good self-care and uh, I think uh, from my personal point of view um, that the men in our lives are needing a lot of support at the moment that's just what's going on in my world so uh, um, doing the best um, to provide that support uh, it seems to me as I say purely from my perspective that men some men not all are really going through it and we have two in the royal family who possibly are going through it one in Montecito and one in London fathers both of them uh, well there's a third one we saw a very beautiful photo released by the Waleses to celebrate Father's Day taken by the Princess of Wales uh, of Prince William and his three lovely children on the beach in Norfolk and uh, sort of rounded off the beautiful experience we've had from the Wales family over the past 24 48 hours and hopefully they can uh, recover in private now that they have done their official duty but anyway back to Father's Day the first reading I'm going to do is looking at Harry in California what is going on there today it's still early in the morning in California as I'm doing this reading but I want to know how he's going what's his mood where is he what's his relationship with his children like I want to know about the king because we hear stories and they are just stories that the king is desperate to form a, some kind of relationship with his grandchildren in California that the FaceTiming and the Zoom calls and all the rest of it isn't enough. I personally don't think there's any of that going on. I wouldn't trust uh, anyone. Uh, on the receiving end of a call like that you'd find it in a Netflix documentary but we're going to look at that as well and we're also going to ask as the outcome of this little reading we're going to ask what would happen if the marriage disintegrated and what would it do to Harry's relationship with his children a hypothetical question and I'm using the cute ghost tarot because of course we're talking about Harry's children as a lot of royal commentators call them Harry's children which I find is a very interesting choice of words and um, we of course never see them we haven't seen them or wh whoever um, we are told of them we haven't uh, seen for a very long time so the cute ghost tarot for the ghost children Justice card coming out in reverse, Nine of Blades coming out as well. Interesting. And uh, so we shuffle a bit. Let us remind you it's tarot for fun and entertainment. It is all my opinion. It's the Hierophant. It is, of course, just all speculation. And we just read energy here on this tarot channel. And it's, of course, archetypal energy, royal family involved. They are archetypal, King of Swords, King of Blades. And disclaimer in the box below. So we got that out of the way. Cards are jumping. And so let's see what the situation is in Montecito or wherever, one more shuffle, Harry is this weekend. Uh, it's been a bad weekend, of course, I would imagine for him. Troop in the colour went off smashingly well with uh, Catherine's return and William there of course and the king and the working royals then there was a big fundraiser in California for the Democratic Party with some of the usual suspects there that were very close to the Parkles at one stage the Clooney's, the Obama's, Oprah well I don't know if Oprah was there or if she's still suffering from some unfortunate consequences of her um, uh, Ozempic adventure but uh, they weren't there, no parkles. Ooh, the moon in reverse, ooh, ooh. The doubt and fear card, confusion card, but it's in reverse. Uh, it's Mummy Diana. We just park that there. I don't think it's particularly Mummy Diana-ish today, this card. The moon is mystery, secrets, things that are hidden, things that are buried and repressed in your subconscious. It's the shadow energy that is projected outwards if you haven't done the inner work. 
uh, it comes out and it causes a little bit of chaos in your life. It can get quite crazy, particularly when the moon is in reverse. So we've got some crazy energy there as our underlying energy of this reading. And the moon is, of course, always associated with things that go bump in the night. And uh, so it's there and it has a somewhat confessional energy for me and I think the race might be on as to who gets their story out first. Book one two had some interesting comments about that precise um, issue in one of her recent videos about who might actually decide to come out and tell the truth. The secrets that emerge when the moon is in reverse, the truth that finally comes out, lifts the cloud and the fog and the shadow and the confusion. Who might burst through that fear wall and uh, decide to tell the truth? There's a lot packed into that card for me as an energy reader. The overall situation, Father's Day in California. Ah. We get the lovers in reverse. The ongoing energy that I'm getting as a reader, I really, I'm not making this up. It's consistent. It just keeps coming through. Breakup, splitsville, separation, maybe even divorce. There it is again. The lovers in reverse. We are also in Gemini season. It's a Gemini card. Um, it's also about choices. And when it's in reverse, it's about bad choices that might have been made pointing at the moon there and uh, now someone living to regret them that's not happy energy that is surrounding this reading the moon in reverse as our underlying energy and then of course the issue what are we dealing with we're dealing with the lovers in reverse we're dealing with bad choices and a possible separation that's coming through in the energy as i say i'm not making it up i'm just reading the cards that the universe has seen fit to share with us today. So Harry's mood today, Father's Day, as I say, it's still early morning in California as I'm doing this. And then we have the Knight of Blades in reverse. Um, upright is the fast and furious energy, quite shrewd, quick-witted, the rescuer for me as a reader, um, somebody who sweeps in and uh, saves the day, but also quite cl clever energy, witty um a shrewd energy it's in reverse um uh, the opposite of quick and witty uh, a bit slow a bit um slow on the uptake maybe i'm asking how he is and maybe he's been a bit slow to realize certain things about his life but it is also uh, quite a savage energy when it's in reverse. It's very cruel, it's very critical. It can just make a decision, a hasty decision that's not thought through very well. And there might be some quite hasty decisions going on, even a level of panic. The moon is about fear and distrust and suspicion, uh, the overall energy of the moon. There might be decisions that are coming from a place of fear and suspicion and doubt that are not thought through very well, that are hasty, that he might repent at leisure. There are constant rumors about phone calls back home saying help please help help me get out of this mess that i have got into that is the knight of blades in reverse that is not a happy energy on father's day uh where is he just generally i want to know where he is physically a king of sticks as a king of wands he could be hanging out with someone he could be hanging out with friends, uh, quite influential friends. That doesn't tell me he's at home. It's even telling me he might be hanging out with someone like a, a celebrity because the King of Sticks is quite um, influential, an actor or a model. Uh, there's a certain polo player who's been in the news in the last 24, 48 hours who uh, seems to have regretted the story that he posted on his Instagram account and took it down early and is now being blamed in the Daily Beast for releasing that story. And it wasn't intended to overshadow Trooping the Colour and uh, Megan didn't want him to do it, didn't he? She wasn't the one that told him. Daily Beast today has that story. I'm getting the idea that he's with friends 
Uh, it's very male energy, the king of sticks, king of wands, that he's with people who are celebrities, actors, directors, big uh, big cheeses in companies to do with entertainment and stuff like that. Not uh, tech, not tech types. This is industry types in the sense of the industry in California. That's what's coming through. It is fire sign. It could just be herself because she's queen of wands, queen of sticks. But it's not what's really coming through for me at all in that energy. Uh, somewhere else, I think. Uh, and relationship with his children. Generally, what is his relationship with his children like right now? Uh, three of sticks in reverse. Uh, hmm. Upright hope, expectation. Um, you've planted the seed. You're expecting it now. Or sent the ship out. You're expecting to, it to, to bring back good things. So there's optimism about the scenario. There is a waiting energy, but waiting for things to blossom and flourish. It's in reverse. So whatever, and that fertility ones are very much fertility. Um, whatever seeds were sown or ships were sent out or whatever he was hoping for waiting for uh, hasn't happened it's withering on the vine the three of ones in reverse um, something that is failing shrinking um, that you give up on that's not good energy at all it is a three and there have been uh, rumors of a third child, which I read on recently, and it's like, no, maybe it's being discussed only for PR purposes, but no. Um, but that's not that's not positive energy. It's in fact quite depressive energy. It's like, well, I give up. It didn't turn out the way I hoped it was going to turn out. I expected it to turn out. I don't know how naive he is or plain stupid he is. We have stupid energy here potentially in the Knight of Blades in reverse. But it, 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 the energy that's coming through is sort of someone who's really quite, um, quite dim in their expectations. What they thought might happen or how things happened. Uh, all of that birds and the bees stuff is, um, yeah, in this day and age, it's, I have to scratch my head and wonder, but I do wonder. I wonder quite often when I do these readings around Harry's kids, as they are called, interestingly, by royal reporters and people like Neil Sean and stuff like that. So does he spend time spent? Does he live with them? Is he hands on dad? Is he driving them to uh, preschool? Is he sitting and watching cartoons with him? Because that's the first image that comes to mind. <laughs> that, that would be something he would enjoy doing. Oh dear, I didn't mean to go there. Just, just what came out. Uh, or is he a remote, distant kind of a dad? Oh dear. The fighting card, the five of sticks, that's the conflict in the household, the family. Um, th there's drama around the situation. I'm getting broken home. I'm getting conflict about access. Sigh, you can hear the sigh in my voice. I've seen this energy over and over and over. I always hope, stupidly, that it's going to get better because... I want these children to live in a safe environment, in an environment without conflict, um, where both parents are pulling their weight and being hands-on parents. That's what I want. That's what I'm sure all of us want. I'm not getting it from this five or six. I'm getting that there's conflict around the situation. I'm reading energy. This is the energy that's coming through for me. I am speculating. I hope sincerely that I am absolutely wrong uh, but that is the energy that has come through and that is five of, of sticks five of wands is parents competing with each other fighting with each other um, maybe even some stunts being pulled when the one isn't around to see what's going on we've seen some of that and the very early days 
of Harry's kids when Harry would be away and suddenly mysteriously um, Harry's wife was being pepped, that kind of thing. Conflict about how much people are going to get access to them, see them, use them, exploit them on Netflix or wherever. All of that going to take them on tours. We've been hearing that they might show up on the worldwide privacy tour. All in there. So let's move on to the king. Uh, does Harry want his children to have a direct relationship with the king who is apparently a fabulous grandfather? We got the hermit in reverse. He can't get over himself. Uh, there's two things. That's the first thing that's come through for me because it's the Harry card. It's the hermit. It's Virgo Major Arcana. So it's Harry. Um, so the first thought that comes to my mind when I get the hermit in reverse is that he's in his shadow aspect. He's being ill-advised. He's being um, obstreperous. And he can't get over his ego. And so it, that's what's his own ego in the way. Being misguided. There is another energy with the hermit in reverse. That's somebody who wants to come back in from the cold. And the two energies can go together quite well, however opposite they seem, because he might want to come back in from the cold. He might want his children to have a very close and direct relationship with his father. But if he can't get over himself, and apologize and become trustworthy again. The moon is about trust and treachery and betrayal and fear and doubt and confusion. If you can't sort that shadow stuff out, then it's not possible for him and his children to have a relationship with the king of England. It's just not going to happen. And how does the king feel? Uh, is he anguished? over the situation as he resigned to the situation what is going on with the king and his grandchildren he never sees we got the six of sticks in reverse it's a defeated energy it's given up energy upright victorious triumphant um basking in sort of uh, praise and glory it's the complete opposite of that it's this is something that he, as a situation that he doesn't feel he can ever get over he doesn't feel will ever end up well this is a source for him of a failure personal failure i think that he torments himself with this notion that he failed harry and possibly william as a father we're going to look at the relationship between Harry and his father in the next reading. This ongoing sense of self-recrimination. I think he's the kind of man who has got Eeyore tendencies and it's all my fault. And I did a terrible job of raising uh, the, dear, the darling boy and it's all my fault and I can never fix it. It's terrible energy. Terrible energy in here. Uh, outcome for Harry okay I didn't know the lovers was going to show up in reverse as our overall situation we're reading on today but I did ask a hypothetical question as the outcome of this reading what is going to happen if hypothetically Meghan and Harry split his relationship with his children how will it impact that relationship oh lord we've got the five of cups it's terrible terrible energy it's grief, it's loss, it's regret, it's crying over spilt milk, being very fixated on the loss of the three, the wife and the children, of the, the dream of that little family and what that meant. The security, the intimacy, the, um, the love, the nurturing, all of that stuff that a family is supposed to provide when it's doing its job. And... Um, in the background there, there's two little cups and one's even got a heart. So there's a possibility that there's something else in his life waiting for him in the wings or someone waiting in the wings. We won't speculate who that might be. There is some speculation going on over in Reddit uh, if you want to go and look there. Um, so quite naughty speculation, but we're not going there today. Uh, it doesn't bode well for him and his relationship with his children um, his contact with them, his own emotional state, their emotional state. It's, it's horrible, horrible 
energy. It's not what one wants to see on a day like today, uh, unfortunately. So there it is. Um, oddly, the only positive card that has come up in this reading is this one of where is he right now? And um, he might get a brief visiting moment. My sense is that he's not there, that he's with whoever this high status male, a friend, business partner, whatever is, any, any kind of partner, shall we say. Uh, he might get to show up briefly, to come around and be dad, king of sticks, because it's high, high status, male energy. Show up, be dad for a while, and then go. That could be in that energy. And a lot of fathers are unfortunately spending Father's Day like that. Um, so there it is. That is the world we live in. And um, that's the reading. On to the relationship between Harry and his father next.